Here is the second version of Green's theorem, the flux divergence form of Green's theorem, a little bit less commonly known than the first version. Let C be a piecewise smooth simple cur closed curve and closing region R in the plane. Let F equal M I hat plus N J hat be a vector field. M N have continuous first partial derivatives. Then the outward flux across C equals the double integral of, this is the divergence of F over R. So first thing that I want to say here is that, you know, this and this, they are very similar. If you were to, uh, is everything up here, everything up here is exactly the same. And so then let's just compare, you know, the, the purple lines at the bottom here. On the right, both of them are a double integral over the, over the, over some region here of something with partial derivatives. Here it's the difference of two partial derivatives in circulation curl in flux divergence is the sum of two partial derivatives. And then over here, it's a line integral around the boundary. Now, what are these expressions more carefully? So this expression over here, this is the flux. Again, remember flux from section 16.2. And this, the integral of mdoi minus ndx, that's how I said we usually go about computing flux here from this slide. And what is the expression here that we're integrating in terms of these partial derivatives? Well, this is exactly divergence. This is the divergence here of f, partial derivative of m with respect to x plus partial derivative to m with respect to y, dx, dy. So this is the flux divergence version of Green's theorem. The picture that we can draw uh, should be should be essentially the same thing as not that marker, this marker. Okay, should be ex essentially the same picture that we drew for the circulation curl version of Green's theorem. So we have a a, a counterclockwise oriented boundary curve C here during a region R. Okay, what is Green's theorem saying is that the integral on C of m dy minus n dx, this is the, this is the flux, is equal to the double integral over R, maybe I'll do this in R in, in red, of the divergence of F over the interior here. And once again, I want us to, to think about physical interpretation and, and, and understand if we interpret this for, remember our, our kind of go-to for divergence is expanding gas here. We'll understand that this makes sense. So the vector field I wrote here, F is Xi hat plus Yj hat. So this is a vector field that corresponds to an expanding gas. The gas is moving away from the origin. It's expanding. You know, it, we could think of this as corresponding to an explosion and everything is fleeing the middle, the center of the explosion here. And so the thing that we want to do is, okay, well, let's think about what Green's theorem says on the unit circle here. And if you crunch this out here, if you crunch this out, the integral on C of m dy minus n dx here, the flux is equal to two pi. This is flux. And if you do the double integral over R of the divergence here, that's also the divergence notation, dA. You also get 2 pi, which, is, which those two equal, which they need to by Green's theorem here. But let's, let's understand that this makes sense. So divergence here, if you calculate out the divergence, uh, 
the divergence of f here ends up being 2. 2 is positive. We said positive numbers correspond to expanding gas. Things are moving out from the origin. So, we're, so we are integrating the divergence here, which is positive, and that's corresponding to the gas is expanding out from the origin. But what about flux? What's the interpretation of flux? Flux is, remember, how much is moving across your boundary. So the, the uh, you know, flux is how much is moving across your boundary. And so think about this just for a second here. If you have a, a, a gas that's exploding out from the middle and you, and you have some fake circle drawn on the ground here, is more gas moving from outside the circle to inside the circle or from inside the circle to outside the circle? Well, I think that if our gas is expanding, it's moving from inside the circle to outside the circle. And so that, that is corresponding to outward flux. That's corresponding to outward flux. That shows here, it makes sense that because our gas is expanding, the divergence is positive, and the flux over the circle needs to be positive as well. And so this whole thing makes sense here for the flux divergence theorem, if you interpret in terms of like an expanding gas, it gives you some way of understanding, oh, this, is, this just isn't something randomly cooked up here. It actually makes sense. Um, okay, so, so, so that is Green's theorem and the flux divergence version. We'll definitely verify it more rigorously in future videos. Uh, we'll definitely apply it. Uh, to wrap up this video, I do want to make an observation here, which is that the two versions of Green's theorem, the two versions of Green's theorem are actually equivalent to each other. So the first version and the second version, these are equivalent. So the two forms of Green's theorem are equivalent. So how do we do this here? Um, let's use the field G is equal to negative N I hat plus M J hat and apply the circulation curl uh, Green's theorem. So instead of saying F is M I hat plus N J hat, G is negative N I hat plus M J hat. What do we end up with? So from this line right here, we have the integral over C of, now negative N is playing the role of M here. So negative N dx. Then n dy, well, m is playing the role of m here. So we have negative n dx plus m dy, and this needs equal, double integral over r of the partial derivative of the second slot with respect to x. So that's partial m partial x minus the partial derivative of the first slot with respect to y, negative partial n partial y here, dA, and of course this is partial n partial x plus partial n partial y, dA here, and this is equal to this, is exactly this is equal to this. So these two versions are equivalent, technically speaking, I just show the first form, implies the second form. I'll leave as an exercise or peek in the book just to go in the other direction.